Wow, brother, this kite is just amazing. This bay, where are we located? This is actually Anohola, uh, Ahupua of Anohola on the island of Kauai. Hey, I see my friends over there. Folks, come in, come in, come in. I'm glad you guys joined us. Perfect timing because we're here on the island of Kauai. This is my friend, Kalani Flores. And we're talking about, can you guess it? Kai. Yeah, I love Kai. So, Kalani, what is Kai? Kai, kai is actually the Hawaiian word for ocean. Ocean, for ocean yeah. So it, it, it relates to ocean and all the things within the ocean. This big body of water that we have in front of us. So many things to do in the kai. You know, I hear the word vai, and I know you folks have heard that word vai. And then there's kai. It sounds alike. Kai, vai. Vai, yeah. kai. Ai. What does Ai. it mean? What, are the, the, what is the difference? Well, vai is primarily fresh water. Okay. It's the water that we get from our streams from our um, lihikai, you know, from all of the, um, our tributaries that come down. And then uh, this water that we have here next to us here, this is salt water. Salt water, salt water. water. fresh water, kai yeah. and vai. You folks gotta remember that, kai and vai. Okay, so the, the, the kai has a lot of pa'akai there. Pa'akai, pa'akai is, is like hard, ocean water and we know that as being salt yeah yeah salt. yeah so it's one of the things that we use to help to preserve our foods back in the olden day traditional mm -hmm. times they used it to preserve their foods we also use it for ceremonial purposes okay. we use it to bless wow. and clean clean uh, cleanse things um, and in prepare, uh, preparation as a season for a lot of our foods that we love to eat today right. the kai has a lot of uses yeah Absolutely. so you talked about kai and the pakai to preserve our food and then you talked about ceremonial stuff. What, what do you mean when you say ceremonial? What does that actually mean? Well, there's one particular ceremony that we do to cleanse ourselves, yeah, of um, any impurities or just um, any kind of eno feelings or bad feelings we may have, and that's called hi'uvai. And you would go into the ocean, you say a little pule or prayer, uh -huh. kind of cleanse yourselves and bathe yourself in that water, in that ocean water. It helps to kind of release all of those oh. things and leave it in the ocean. You know, that makes a lot of sense that because kai or, or salt actually, they use salt for a lot of pres preservation and, and cleaning. So like we do with other things, salt can also cle clean the, I guess the uhane and the kino, yeah? The kino. Your aye. spirit and your body. Aye, aye. So what are some, uh, you know, when I look at this 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 uh, kai, folks, look at this kai, because it's amazing. Look how much water is out there. When I look at all of this, I think to myself, how do I organize all of this? It looks so <laughs> massive. Yeah. Are there ways to like make it more yeah. user-friendly? Break it down, yeah. We'd like to break it down. So um, what I was told, there are different names for different parts okay. of the ocean, yeah? Because Kai is just, it's everything, yeah? From the shoreline extending all the way out to okay. the horizon, yeah? So it starts here and it goes all the way out? All the way out, all the okay. way out. So it's all of this water that we have in front of us. So starting here from the shoreline, we call this the lihikai, or the water's edge, the shoreline, oh, yeah? Okay. And that's where you would have all of this sand, the shallower areas here, the rocks, or what we call the kaheka, the tide pools okay. a little bit here. I see that over there. Yeah. And then as you extend a little bit more outward, you can see right where these waves are kind of breaking or okay. kind of coming okay. in, and where, they, you know, where people tend to walk out there to lavai'a in shallow waters, that's what we call the apapa. Papa. So there's the lihikai and then the apapa. Apapa. Now what about that area over there that is like where I see the waves are breaking? Yeah, where they're breaking and you see there's some surfers out there playing in the water out there. You oh, can see them surfing. Like surf. Yeah, that's actually called kai he e nalu. Kai, kai he, he, e nalu. He, he nalu. Yeah, he okay. e nalu meaning to slide or wave slide, yeah? Nice, yeah, nice. So that's where they tend to surf and ride waves. People like to swim. Right. Yeah. And then um, if we go beyond that, out into the deeper waters, okay. that's where we call it kaiuli. 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 Oh, something yes. like dark. Dark, dark water. Yeah, the darker waters where you would have more of the deep sea fishing. Uh -huh. You would probably be um, maybe even traveling along in your va'akaulua, your sailing canoe. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow, Kalani. So when yeah, I look at the kai, I think to myself, what other ways did our kupuna interact with the kai? Well, they did a lot of voyaging actually on yeah, the ocean. Gotta yeah, gotta be, yeah. That was one way that they connected themselves oh. with each other, yeah, with the different other um, islands, um, Nakaevalu, you know, all of our main Hawaiian islands, yeah, Hawaii Island, Maui, Molokai, 
all of our many islands in our island chain but it's it's that one connection that they had not only to those islands but also their ancestral homeland yeah. as well too. Right. you know the thing that makes me think about is how do we keep this water and this kai clean and and usable for our future for the future yeah that's that's a that's a very good question i think the first thing that comes to mind is you know we have to personally connect to the place uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, we have to connect to it yeah if we don't come to the ocean we don't use the ocean then how are we going to appreciate the ocean? Right, how are we going right. to appreciate it yeah. um so whatever we're doing if we're fishing if we're swimming we're diving we're surfing you know it's all those types of experiences that help to connect us to this place to this honuakai to this ocean base yeah? Right, yeah, right. to this ocean base here and then from there you know the same way we take care of ourselves we extend and take care of the land we can then take care of the resources wow. here on the ocean yeah you want a malama yeah malama ikikai malama ikikai when you get that relationship it gives to you and you give back to it it's kind of nice yeah well, <laughs> there's a lot for me to think about today. I hope you guys learned a lot, because I did. But you know what? I'm also hot. Well, you like, oh, jump in the ocean or what? We, we hit right. in Nalu? I right. got your butt. I got butt. I think it's in the car. Okay, let's hey, go. I think, I think we better go. And we'll yeah, see yeah. you guys on the next section. You guys take care. Yeah. Aloha. Aloha.